Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React.js Redux tutorial part 8. And in this video, we can talk about action payload in Redux. Okay. So let me start from what is action payload. Basically, it is the kind of additional property in our action. So that carrying some information from our application to the store. So first, let me go to my application. So in my previous videos, we have talked about this action. It is kind of plain JavaScript. It is having one default property, its type. So it is defining what is the type of this action. At the same time, we can have some different parameters. Okay, I mean the different properties. It is up to the developers. At the same time, the standard way of transferring data through the action, we have this payload option. Okay. For the explanation, I'm going to use the same example that we used in our previous videos. So it is kind of online product purchase. Here this state is nothing but an available products and our action is buy bad. So if I'm clicked to this one, so the count will be reduced by one. Okay. So this is the existing scenario. For explaining this payload information, I'm going to provide one input box. There user can enter the value. So based on the ended value, I'm going to reduce the available quantity. Okay, that's all about our concept. Now I'm going to start our implementation. So first I'm going to create one component. Okay. Here we can use the CSFC stateless functional component. And our component name is payload product. You. So here I am going to have one text available bat. Next we can have one input box and finally the button. So let me save this one. Now in our app.js, I mean our app component. So let me command these two components. So instead of that, I'm going to have this payload product component, okay? See the output? And next in our action, let me go to the Redux. So in this product action, I'm going to create one more new action creator. So this action creator is nothing but a function by batch. Okay. And it is going to return the JavaScript object with the default property of type. And the type value is by batch. Okay. Okay, this is fine. And as I mentioned, I'm going to have one more property payload. And then we can have one input. Okay. So the initial value I'm going to provide one. I mean the default value. I'm just added. So let me save this one. Now let me go to the reducer section. So in this reducer, we have this bat reducer. I'm going to use the same one. So if you noted this logic, I just detected one value. Okay. So instead of that, we can use this payload option. Okay. That's it. Okay. This is fine. Now let me go to our common side. So the first thing is we have to get the number of available products. So for that, uh, we can use this use selector hook. So from here, we can access the state value. I believe it is the number of bats. Okay. Yeah. We can copy the same thing. And then I'm going to bind the existing value here. So 
see it is showing the available products okay and then we can complete this uh, buy bet action so for that we have to use this uh, use dispatch option so that also we have implemented in our product component so let me copy this one okay it is just imported that also fine and the next thing is in our button we can have this event the callback function okay so whatever code here we have so let me copy everything I'm going to include it here okay and instead of this make order uh, we can use this our new action by bet okay and let me import this one otherwise it will create an issue okay and then the parameter so parameter is nothing but an uh, whatever value I have entered in this uh, input box so what I'm going to do let me declare the use state variable here and the action is count change and I'm using this use state option so the default value is 1 so we can bind here the default value and in this on change event and this count change here the value is event dot target dot value okay this is fine and the input we can use this product count okay so in this buy pad now we have completed let me save this one so let me refresh the screen so if I'm clicking so the count one is reduced and if I'm giving 10 see it is 89 and if I'm giving 25 again see so that means our functionality is working fine so let me recall everything once again first we started from our action okay so we have created the new action by bat so it is having the default property type so the property value is by bat and I have included one more new property called payload so here I am passing the by count okay I mean the product count and the next thing in the reducer side so initially uh, we just reduced value by one so instead of that whatever value I'm passing through the payload I'm just using here so even though if I'm not passing the default value should be taken okay and the finally in our product component so I'm having one input box using this use state hook I'm getting this value finally passing to the function so based on that it is working fine okay and still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video we can see how to consume APA using this Redux okay thank you thanks for watching